the people who are learning about biology, they're reaching back to ancestors that are 3.8 billion years old. And when you look at the age of the Earth as a calendar year, and today is December 31st, just a few minutes before midnight, we got here 15 minutes ago. But our biological ancestors have been here since March of that year. And in that time, in that 3.8 billion years, life has learned to do amazing things. Life has learned to fly and circumnavigate the globe and live at the top of mountains, bottom of the ocean, lasso solar energy, light up the night, make miracle materials like our skin, horns, hair, brains. Life has done everything that we want to do, but without guzzling fossil fuels, without polluting the planet, without mortgaging its future. What better models could there possibly be? Life creates conditions conducive to life. And since we're not separate from that, we can do that too. But I think that we have to go back and ask the help of some of these biological ancestors. We can decide as a culture to listen to life, to echo what we hear. We can make the conscious choice to follow nature's lead in living our lives. The real benefit of a biomimetic life, of biomimicry, is that by learning from nature, instead of just learning about nature, we begin to feel a part of, rather than a part from, this genius that surrounds us.